you can see um, every coach has his own ideas about uh, what different players have to do on different positions and uh, you see that these new players um, as I said they have to adapt uh, to the situations I'm asking them uh, to do certain things um, but this is a normal situation if someone is coming new to a, to a team and now we just have to see how quick uh, this will work and uh, after that then I can make a decision about uh, he can start, he will sit on the bench or he will wait for the next match. That, uh, will you travel with them or you are preparing them with their chance? Yeah, okay. And uh, for Chan, only players who are playing in Africa uh, are allowed to play. So uh, now the matches we are playing are uh, matches where all the players from outside uh, are coming in and uh, can play. So uh, for sure there will be players uh, from outside that probably will start again. And um, if I take some of these new players or one of these new players with us to Benin uh, is still not made, it's still open, but uh, even if we are not taking them to Benin, uh, we are coming back for the second match and uh, then they might join us again uh, when we are coming back from uh, Ivory Coast. Uh, to Kigali. Coach, it's uh, a fourth game against Benin in these two years uh, and we didn't manage to get a win against them. Uh, what are you going to change in this game to get a better result uh, according to the previous games? Um, so for me, I think it's my second match against them. Um, uh, the first match uh, we lost 1-0 at, uh, at uh, Ivory Coast, that's again uh, where we are traveling now. And uh, uh, I already said in my last uh, media, with, media conference with you that um, my team is still developing and it's getting better from every match and every camp. And uh, somehow I'm happy that the last camp or the time between the last camp and this camp is very short. So I'm expecting that uh, when the players are coming now or the players that are here, I can already see uh, most of the situations or the, the tactical instructions I have given them uh, or taught them the last camps is is still in their mind, so uh, I think it will be another step forward. Uh, this doesn't mean that uh, the result, <laughs> I can't promise anything, but uh, I'm, I'm positive that we will make it sure more difficult for Benin uh, to beat us uh, this time, and especially then in the second match when we are playing here against them uh, in Kigali. How is the performance of Johan? You mean uh, Marvin? Yes, Marvin. Somehow you can see that he is coming back from a, a long recovering time from his injury. But uh, I'm happy that he is uh, physically, uh, that's also what our medical department says, that he is fit. But uh, okay, you see, you can see that the match practice uh, he is missing. Um, uh, but okay, uh, every training session will help uh, and will bring him forward. And uh, now we have to to wait uh, about uh, when the match is coming closer. Um, what our decision will be about him uh, for the first and second match. Play in this stadium in front of your fans. Uh, is it uh, an added value for your campaign? 
Uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, I think, especially then in the second half, when uh, the people were really filling up the stadium, you could you could see the support and hear the support of uh, of our local guys here, and uh, it's it's sure it is giving a push to to the players if you see that the crowd is behind you and is supporting you. And uh, yeah, I I hope that the stadium might be even more full because also now the time is a little bit later in the evening. We are playing at six o'clock and that not uh, three o'clock. I think was the last time, um, so that more people have the opportunity to come to the stadium. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy about this new stadium. I hope the field will be better than last time. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm positive uh, that uh, the crowd will give us a, a push. That's it? Yeah. Good, thank you very much.